So I think, I think when we decided to do this four months ago, there was a little bit of a different circumstance than what we're facing here this evening. So we are going to keep the evening as to what it was supposed to be. However, however, there is an elephant in the room. Where? <laughs> you may be the only one who doesn't see it. <laughs> so Tom, you're in the news here, uh, and the Ted Wells report was just released. <laughs> Jim's known for hard-hitting questions. We have a show on Monday nights, and this is how it usually goes for me, so I'm used to it. We're going to deal with it, and then we're going to move on with the evening. What is your reaction, Tom, to the Ted Wells report? <laughs> See, I can't usually say those things. <laughs> but uh, it, I don't have really any reaction, Jim. I, uh, our owner commented on it yesterday, and it's only been 30 hours, so I haven't had much time to digest it fully. But when I do, I'll be sure to let you know how I feel about it. <laughs> and everybody else. <laughs> Are you that slow a reader? <laughs> Well, my athletic career has been better than my academic career. So uh, usually I'm used to reading X's and O's. Uh, this was a little bit longer. When do you plan to address this publicly? Hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. There's still uh, a process that's going forth right now. And um, you know I'm involved in that process. So whenever it happens, uh, it happens. And I'll certainly want to be very comfortable uh, in how I feel about the statements that I make. So since those statements right now will speak for you and you don't want to get into the details, how are you handling this controversy? Uh, is it bothering you? Um, you know, I, I've dealt with a lot of things in the past. I dealt with this three months ago before the Super Bowl. Um, I dealt with a lot of adversity over the course of my career, my life. And um, I'm very fortunate to have so many people that love me and support me. Um, You know, life so much is about uh, the ups and downs, and certainly I accept my role and responsibility um, as a public figure, and um, I think a lot of it, you take the good with the bad, and dealing with different adversities in life, you just try to do the best you can do. And I was raised by a great mom and dad who uh, support me, and I have a lot of great teammates that support me, so uh, we'll get through it. What are those people telling you? Share it with us. <laughs> They're a little biased, aren't they? <laughs> but uh, has this, however, detracted from your joy of winning the Super Bowl? Absolutely not. Why not? <laughs> uh, because we earned and achieved everything that we, we got this year as a team, and I'm very proud of that. And our fans should be too. Is the Super Bowl tainted? Should there be a test <laughs> What do you guys think? Either do I. Your answer was? Either do I. No, it's not? Is that what you're saying? I said, I asked what they thought. I asked you what you thought. I said, I said no, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Do you care what others think, say, and are writing? You're getting pummeled, Tom. Maybe not here tonight, but across the country. Do you care? Well, I think, you know, my nature and my character is one. I think as a human, you care what people think. Um, I certainly care what the people that are close to me think and what they care about. Um, I think also as a public figure, you learn that there's not everyone's going to like you either. So good, bad, and different. There's a lot of people um, that don't like uh, Tom Brady, and I'm okay with that. So, I, uh, I, like I said, I have teammates that I love and support, that love and support me. I have fans. I have family. I'm very blessed. We move on. It sounds like a good time to jump off a cliff. You'd be